Hi, I'm Corn C, and today I'm playing God is a Cube. Uh, I played this before, I played the tutorial levels, which is this one up here and this one up here. You can see I've completed them 100%. Um, I wrote to the developer on Reddit for a little bit, and I agreed to play some more because he, uh, oh, they, <laughs> not sure, he or she said that they, um, uh, these ones get uh, much more interesting. So, I agreed to do it. And I'm just going to play for half an hour and see how things go. So let's start with the beginning of the uh, of the harder missions. Oh, okay. Logical gates allow only one result to pass through. If the obstacle detector sees an obstacle, only the runes after the logical gate will be executed. All right. So we've got. If then, so in, and then if there's a wall in front of you, and it's true, then go here. Otherwise, go here. Okay, fine. So what we want to do then is on the logic gate. If there's a wall in front of us, we want to turn 90 degrees. So the idea is we go. And otherwise, we want to go forward. Okay. So basically, we're going to, if there's no nothing in front of us, keep going forward. And when we hit a wall, turn right, and then keep going forward again. I think that's it. Let's see. Cool. Oh. Right. So, yep. Yeah. That's right, because I learned something new. Next level. Uh, up the steps. Okay, so here we want the if statement, and if it's true, there's a wall directly in front of us, then go up. Otherwise, go forward. Oops, wrong button. Cool. Done. Alright, so there's the if gates. Um, that one was too easy because I've done it before. I, I haven't played it before, but the previous, the previous level was exactly the same thing. Okay, I've got a feeling this is going to be the same thing again. <laughs> okay, uh, so we're going to need two gates. We need to go there, and around there, and then back around here. So if there's a wall to your right, and here's if there's a wall up. Okay. So if there's a wall above you, then you want to turn left. Oh, so we need to say true. True. Turn left. If it's false, go forward. We need this extra one? Okay, what have I done wrong? Okay, so obviously done something wrong. Um, it just stopped there. Why did it stop there? Bump, so we go forward. So here it should fail. There's one above. So we should go down here and go into here and turn relative left. Ah, but then. Okay, I see. Then it's still above us, isn't it? So that's not going to work. So what we want to do is over here. 
turn right and go forward. Assuming that's what that means. And then this one is false and this one's go forward. So how about that? Cool. That's it. Done. Uh, Yep, I learned something new, so I'm happy. So the question is, how many of these levels can I get through in the uh, half hour I said I'd, uh, I'd said I'd play? Yes, I know that from before. Okay, so I've got direct wall relative front, direct wall relative left. Okay, so what we can say is, if there's a wall to our left, to false. Um, hmm. I mean, what happens if I want to put? Is it going to? No. Yeah. Okay. I was wondering if, if because there's more here, I was wondering if I put them in, if it would expand, or it's just it's only going to it's going to force me to do it in this many um, in this many rules. Um, so if there isn't one in front, then keep going forward. If keep going forward, otherwise go to your right. Yeah. So this is basically just teaching you again that you can go over these these gaps, which was in the tutorial. I certainly think that with, with if statements you can get uh, things a lot more complex going. So we got here relative wall in front, which will never happen. Relative left, never happen. Relative right, never happen. Direct wall relative down. So obviously that's the one we're supposed to use because the other ones will never happen. <laughs> uh, okay, so if there is a wall relative down, How can I get all of them then? Uh, I think I've got it. So if we go, if it's if there is a wall down, then turn to your right. Otherwise, um, where's the other one? Otherwise. Go straight. So the idea is you go this way, then turn right, go to here, turn right, go here, turn right, go here, turn right, go to here, turn right, and then here. And I'm not moving at all. <laughs> okay. Um, move relative front. If there's a wall down, yes, all right, so I wanted these the other way around. All right, and I need to do also a new turn and a move. So, over here, over here. So, sorry, it's false move. Forward, if it's true, turn and move forward. That's why you needed the extra one. Oops. Uh, I've obviously got these the wrong way around. There we go. Da 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 da. Round and 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 round. Do 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 do. Done. Uh, I wonder how many people have done these. I should see if they if it tells me. See how uh, see how many people are actually playing this game. I'd be interested to know. Is there a wall in front of you? Uh, 
Okay, so this is obviously one of the turny ones. So if I go there, turn back this way, then if we turn to the if we turn to the right, then we'll turn right, face this way, move forward, that turn right, turn this way. So we'll turn right, turn right. Yeah. So I think turn right will do us will get us all the cubes. If there's a wall in front of us, otherwise move forward. The idea being that we just sort of loop around. So how many people is it? Well, presumably, hang on. yellow is all the people who've done the two stars, um, and violet is secret solutions. Hmm. What are the secret solutions? How could you get how could you get both stars? Hmm. I don't know. And do it in less steps than that. Hmm. Be interested to know. Maybe there is something. I keep doing less than six instructions and get all the stars. Hmm. All right. Next. No way. Next. Ah, da da. Yes. 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 So we want to go this way. Turn right. Go here. Turn right. So we want one where it's. Where it's, there's a wall directly in front of us. If there is a wall directly in front of us, then we want to turn relative left. If there isn't, then if there's a wall to our right, We want to turn left again. We might as well put. Do we need that? Let's try taking that out. And if it isn't, then we want to move forward. Now there's a square here, which makes me think I've got it wrong. Ah, yes, because then it'll be this one will fire because it's on our right, so we actually want to move forward one as well. Yes. Because otherwise, if I went here and I didn't put this here, then this one would fire, and then this one would immediately fire, so I turn again. So I need to move away so it's not on my right the next time it goes through its loop, the little uh, evaluation loop. Done. Okay. Okay. If there's a wall directly in front of you, if there's a wall directly in front of you, that's the only one we've got. That's hmm. If it isn't a wall directly in front of you. Go forward. Okay, I think that's a good start. Now, if there is a wall directly in front of you, then I guess you have to. What do you have to do? There is a wall directly in front of you. What happens if you say this? Hmm. Turn to the right. Go forward. Go up. I don't know. I don't know how this one's going to work. No. <laughs> I can feel shame. Okay. Um, Okay, got it. More process of elimination. Uh, next level. Oh, I forgot to give feedback. Oh, I'll that. Hmm. 
So it says front, 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 up, down. If there's no, if there's a wall underneath you, then move. Forward. I think. <laughs> I think. Um, if there isn't one beneath you, then you want to go forward once, forward twice, and then down. Hmm, okay, this one's a little not entirely sure how to do this one. Ah, uh, okay, I've got it. Instead of that, what I need to do is detect a wall to my left. Then I can take this wall here, and if this wall here is here, then, then I start dropping down. So if there's a gate to my... so I need to swap these around as well. So here... If there isn't one, drop down. If there is a wall to my left, then just start going down, 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 down. Down, down. Hmm. Okay. Down. Down. Okay. We done. Okay. Oh, I know. I won't say that. I was just fine. Okay, I just see is this the last one in this level? I think this might be the last one in this level. Uh detect wall relative front left right Okay. There's a wall to your left. So I'm gonna go yes, 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 no. So then Turn and move. Right, so if there's no, if the answer is no, we want to turn to our left and move forward. Otherwise, move forward. Wait, this one move forward, is it? Okay. Otherwise, move forward. So it means we should go da 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 da, turn, move forward, da 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 da. Now we've got one on our right, so what we need to say is after you've got one on your left, if you've got one on your right, yeah. if you've got one on your right, then we need to go backward. I have no idea how this is going to work. Ah, well, I've got the. Uh, it's up. I want that to be forward. Hmm. What am I doing wrong here? So if there's one on your left. Oh, relative or front, or to relative or left. There we go. Okay. So if there's, if there isn't one on your left, hmm, okay. So if it's, Maybe this needs to be if there's one on your right. This one is one on your right. If there is one on your right, then back up. So you're here, so back up one and then turn to your right. Relative right. 
here. Okay. Yeah, okay. Maybe I missed. Maybe I missed this uh, <laughs> this bit. That would have made it a bit clearer, perhaps. So here, detect wall relative left. There is a wall on your left. Go forward. If there isn't, that means you're here and facing forward. So you want to go forward, down, down, forward, down, down. Where, where do we get to with that? Up, oh, we go the wrong way. Okay. How do we get rid of these? Okay. Let's start again. Okay. So let's say if there's a wall on your left, go forward. Because I think that's actually was right to start. And my mistake was I forgot to put the true bit here. So if there's a wall on your left, and that's true, uh, if wall on your left and it's not true, I'm going to turn to your right, turn to your left, sorry. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Otherwise, go forward. Let's see if we start to build this up step by step. Okay, so. Why aren't we going into here? So we're going to here, so that's. Turn left, but it's not turning left, is it? Yes, it is turning left. Ah, but there's no wall, so okay, fine, got it. Then go forward. Let's make sure the wall's there. Okay. So we go there, then we go there, then we go all the way around, but that's no good. Okay. So if there isn't, we go. We need to put another one in. Is there a wall on your right? If there is not a wall on your right, then you go forward. If there is a wall on your right, then we're here and we back up, turn and go down here. So we go back up, one, turn to the right. Uh, and we go forward one and down two okay nope we need to go down one more Cool. All right, that was that was a good one. That one stumped me for a while. So I've done that whole section. Cool. What's next? What bit of logic are they going to? It's going to be thrown at me next. Low-level runes have to be connected to information runes in black. Pay attention to the fact that execution does not pass through information runes. So what are they for then? I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Uh... 
I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, right, they told me to click on this. Oh, just tells me the same thing again. Low level wounds have to be connected to information wounds. So what happens if I do that? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Um. Okay. All right. I see. So I mean, this is a bit strange. So I think we need to do these ones. Trying to do a drag for all of them, but it's not going to let me. Okay, not sure what I'm doing wrong there. But I think that's that, and let me just tell it the relative way to go, which is a, this is strange. So we want to go east, then south. Uh, and then east. Here, east, here, north, and then east, east, east. Hmm. Okay, I'm not really sure what the what the purpose of these are yet. Hopefully, it'll become clearer as we go on. Or these, what these add. Okay, so, oh, what's this thing? Uh, detects a terrain or a live cell in the specified direction. Military direction, you can combine several of them. I assume that means that has to go there then. So if there's an alive cell, True. Let's go. Ah, oh, we can't. Where's forward? We're in relative front. Does that? No, nope, that doesn't do anything. Uh, how do we move forward now? I'm. Um, make low level detectors to an obstacle in a direction to detect. An obstacle this way. Alright, so that's this is what was started. Get off. How do I drop it? Okay. Okay, if there's an alive cell, means a train cube. Uh, huh? <laughs> I guess in front. So if there's something in front of you, then you'd want to do that, wouldn't you? Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure what this is about. This thing feels very strange. Turn to the right. Nope, not doing anything. Um, hmm, well, we're at 30 minutes, and I'm not really sure what these do. So that's going to be a bit hard for me to actually. Work out. Oh, it would be nice if you could reset this to the start, because now I'm. Oh yes, I can click out. Now I don't remember how it was at the start. I think it was like this. So I think this is saying if there's a rune obstacle, and there's only one other option. So if there's a rune obstacle in front of you, 
move in front of you. So if there's room obstacle, obst right, oh, okay, fine. If there's room obstacle in front of you, turn to your right. Uh, otherwise, okay, so I think that's it. Okay, so this is saying if there's an obstacle in front of you, turn right, it's true, otherwise, to uh, move forward. This is, feels like a very strange way to, to, to write it. I'm not sure, I, I assume later on these will become more important uh, in working things out. I guess they're, they're like uh, parts of a conditional. So this is your if statement and then these are sort of con extra conditional um, components of this if statement. Um, but at this stage this example feels like it would be better done in the previous system, which I suppose is the point. That's uh, fine. Right. Thirty-one minutes. Thirty-one minutes. I think I might just have to stop. I've got to. It's a long video. Uh, front. Front. Oh, okay, I see. So if there's an obstacle two in front of you, so it's basically when you're here, two in front would be this one here. So when there is two in front of you, you want to turn to your right. Otherwise, you want to move forward. So you go forward, forward, forward here. Now there's an obstacle two in front of you, so turn to the right and then forward, forward, forward. I probably needed that one. <laughs> After the last one, I probably needed that one to uh, just to remind me how it works. Okay, so in half an hour, I've gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now up here, so I'm probably 33%. I was at 20% with these two. Are there more beyond here? Maybe there are more beyond here because. I don't see two thirds. I don't see I'm more than two thirds of the way through based on the number of these levels. So maybe there's more. Hmm. Okay. All right. So that's uh, another half hour. So we'll just stop there. Bye.